It was 2011 when Nick Paolo exited the doors of the Trustee Science Center for the final time and walked across the O'Reilly Center stage at graduation. Hey sir, I'm Dr. Paolo, I'm with the Stroke Team. Today, life is a little more fast-paced for the now Dr. Paolo, where he is in residency for emergency medicine at the University of Kansas Hospital. It's exciting and interacting with patients, patients looking to you and, and uh, you know, calling you doctor and, and expecting that you're there for them, you know what needs to be done. Uh, that's fun, it's scary, it's definitely scary, uh, but it's fun as well. Paula was able to maximize his jury experience by participating in the university's early acceptance program, a partnership with five medical schools in the state of Missouri. The program allows students to focus solely on their undergraduate education and alleviate some of that anxiety around taking the MCAT. It does take a lot of pressure off the MCAT. Yes, you still have to take it, and yes, you want to do as well as you can, but it, there's not so much of that do or die pressure. It, it takes some of the stress off that and allows you to branch out, allows you to explore other hobbies, other interests. In many ways, Paulo was the poster child for a jury education, a student that came in focused on studying for medical school, but became immersed in the university's many offerings related to the liberal arts. And you realize, wow, there are some different uh, ways of thinking out there. And I think Drury addresses that better than most. You know, I took French at Drury and I sang at Drury with the Drury Singers. Um, not because, you know, it was going to help me in my medical career, uh, but just because I like that stuff. I was interested in that stuff. Those things are going to stick with me, and this, a lot of that stuff I already miss, you know, those experiences at Drury um, really helped shape who I am more, than, more so than, all right, is it going to help me get into medical school? But ironically, the liberal arts background Drury provided him may have indeed helped Paulo secure his top choice for medical school during his interview with St. Louis University. It really does come down to that interview. When the scores are there, it comes down to do they like you as a person? And we talked about nothing but French things and my French studies and, and uh, evidently she was impressed enough at the end where she said, all right, we'll see you in August of 2011. And I'm like, wow, that's all I had to do was talk about French culture <laughs> and, and visiting Paris and things like that. So uh, those decisions that seem trivial can really come to bear big time fruit down the road. Paulo is scheduled to become a chief resident at the University of Kansas Hospital this July for the next year and will officially begin practice in emergency medicine in the summer of 2018. He hopes to stay in the Kansas City region where he will join a group of over 60 Drury alumni currently working as medical professionals in the Casey area.